G'day James, welcome to video tutorial number four in which we are going to insert the support structure for the, uh, for the workbench and we're going to start with the support that runs along the long aspect of um, the workbench. So the little bits of information we need here is the height at which this is from the ground, whether it be on top or underneath. We're given the height from the ground to the top of the support, which is a total of 350 millimeters. We're given the total width of that support uh, beam, if you like, um, and we're given the, the dimensions of the little groove. You'll see that that support slots into, all right, it's, it's countersunk, so it sinks into that uh, the upright. So we're going to be smart. We're going to use SketchUp to do this quickly, and we're not going to uh, complete this isolated and then try and slot it in. We're going to start with the uprights okay so we're going to go across to SketchUp right I'm going to situ position myself so that I can get a nice view um, of the um, of the long edge and what I'm going to use is my trusty tape measure tool right which is triple click on the on the three and uh, the ellipse here and I'm going to go find my tape measure tool where are you alternatively we can just type in T so there's my tape measure tool, excuse me, there's my tape measure tool. So, um, so it's either tape measure over here to activate or just T. Now we know that it's 350 off the base. So I'm going to click on this, uh, the bottom edge here. So on the edge, the bottom edge of the leg, click. I'm going to drag this up a total of, make sure it stays, that you can see it, that it doesn't disappear behind. And I'm going to release my mouse. Remember, click and release for all these commands and I'm going to type in 350. So that's the height, okay? And then I'm going to type, then I'm going to go back to my PDF and have a look at how far in this leg goes. And it's a total of 20 on both sides. So I'm gonna click on this edge over here and I'm gonna pull in, remember click release, type in 20. I'm going to complete the, complete the same command on the other side. I'm gonna click and pull in 20. And then the total depth of this piece of wood or beam or support is going to be 60. So I'm going to click on I'm going to click on that tape measure tool and that tape measure line. I'm going to come down a total of 60. Right. So now I've positioned, if you like, with my with constructions or the tape measure tool, some guides for that support structure. Now what I have to do because I've created both of these as individual groups, I've got to double click on that leg you'll see everything else goes gray, which means that I can manipulate this material now. And what I want to do is go into this little section over here, take my line command, click, 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 and click there. Then I'm going to press pull, and I'm going to highlight that little piece, and I'm gonna pull it all the way across to where I come on edge with that little red square. Click, and you'll see we've created the perfect groove for that or slot for that support. So I'm going to click out of that group, then I'm going to click and double click into the next group. Make sure everything else is gray. I'm then going to get my line command again. I'm going to click, click, click and click into that little feature there which gives us the slot for that support. I'm going to press pull again and watch what I do. Get onto that little segment again, click on it, release pull across till we are on edge and now we have the two perfect slots in order to put our um, new uh, our uh, long aspect of that long beam okay so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to grab my rectangle rectangle command I'm going to be smart about this so I'm going to click rectangle command I'm going to click into this top corner here and I'm going to pull across until I get to this opposite corner over here and that gives me the profile in terms of the height and length of that support strut or support beam. Then I'm going to come in here, orbit around, I'm going to come in, press pull, and I'm going to pull this until I come across to this edge here where it lines up purple. It might line up red for you. Then I'm going to click and note that this is now perfectly positioned and placed to support the long aspect of the chair. I mean, sorry, the table. What I will do now is triple click it. So let's do that again. Triple click, right click and make it a group. Right, I'm going to click onto the group here. 
I'm going to click on so that I can go ahead and get my material, color, and red, and go ahead, well, in this case, I'm just going to click on that once, and I should be able to make the whole thing red with one click. So instead of triple clicking, just click on once, grab your color, and then go ahead and add the color to that leg. So that's the, the video for the long aspect, um, support for the long aspect of the, the, um, the workbench. In the next video, we will do um, the short aspect. But what I want to do is click on display and quickly go and delete all the guides so that they are not there for when I start the next video.